Thanks everyone for joining us. Sorry we can't host this session of our Main Street Collective live, um, but we thought today uh, would be a great opportunity to kind of talk about growing your small business with Pinterest. Uh, at Beyond Main, we've been exploring ways to leverage this platform um, as a shopping platform, but also as a means for education, sharing content as well. And so today we're joined by Ariana Sanchez, who has been working directly with Beyond Main over the past year to kind of help us develop some of these content focused areas um, across all of our marketing channels, but most specifically Pinterest. And so she's put together this wonderful presentation to help you get started or help you give spark some new ideas to help you grow your business on this platform. So Ariana, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, why don't you take it away? All right, thank you, Kate. Um, so hi everyone, um, like I said, I'm Ariana Sanchez. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about growing your small business with Pinterest. Um, this is a great um, place for e-commerce and just gaining visibility. Um, I'm currently a student at Montclair State studying visual communications design um, and I just want to help you guys out and teach you what we've learned with Pinterest um, and how great it can be for growing your business. All right, next slide. So let's talk a little bit about Pinterest and why we would spend our time on Pinterest because um, we have all these social media platforms to put our time into, but Pinterest really has done a good job of being a tool for our small businesses and e-commerce. So Pinterest is visually based. So photos, if you haven't seen um, a Pinterest feed, you can kind of look at the background, very visually based. Um, traffic is dependent on content quality and discoverability. Um, people come to Pinterest to get inspired. And again, with this discoverability, Pinterest works as a search engine. So we'll talk about keywords and how that is generally where traffic comes from instead of a large following. Um, lastly, Pinterest, um, the content on there has a longer lifespan than a lot of other platforms. So you're kind of getting more bang for your buck for every post that you um, put up. And here are some statistics. Um, these are great for, again, showing how great Pinterest is for e-commerce. So 80% of pinners spend more in retail than those off Pinterest. 25% um, of Pinterest is spent shopping. This is the highest of any social media platform. Again, a great reason to put your time into Pinterest. 75% um, of users have discovered a new brand or product on Pinterest. So again, discoverability, growing your brand, um, increasing um, the amount of people that are seeing your products. All right. So on Pinterest, moments inspire purchases. These um, are often called buying moments. Um, they're pretty much when people come to Pinterest to buy. Um, so 22% or moment specific content is 22% more likely to translate into a sale and 10% more likely to be seen by others. So this is a great time to capitalize on Pinterest. So what are these moments? We have seasonal moments like Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, your general um, holidays. Um, then we have typical or traditional moments, which is new baby, new home. These are kind of reoccurring throughout the year. There's not just one set time. Um, and then we have life moments or what Pinterest calls always on moments. These can be weddings, birthdays, anniversaries. So if there's not a holiday coming up, you can kind of um, use these topics to center your posts and get traffic. And then we have unique moments like date night, Sunday brunch, summer pool party. Um, but yeah, those are kind of our moments. Whenever you're posting, just in general, um, think, is my post visually appealing? Is it original um, and unique? Is it positive? Is it relevant? And is it actionable? All right, Kate, next slide. Um, so now we'll go over some best practices for pinning. Um, if you haven't used Pinterest or haven't even created a post, um, which most of us haven't, um, this is kind of what it'll look like. You have your photo, your um, title, and then your caption. So again, when we're pinning, we want something discoverable, attention grabbing, and that calls for action. So Pinterest has product tagging, which is super cool and makes it great for e-commerce. Um, you'll kind of see this icon in the top left. 
Um, you'll see that when you're pinning and after you pin. Um, and it can be easy to forget, but pretty much what this does is you put in your product URL and it goes straight to your product page. So it's super great for translating um, into traffic on your website as well. Um, and then we have a visible logo, Pinterest. Um, I believe it says two times brand aid of awareness. If you put your logo um, on your picture and it's not just in the caption because your um, users don't have to go and click on it to see your logo. Um, just make sure it's uh, visible. Um, and then display of product in use. Pinterest has found that products in use or in action perform a lot better than just your product on a white background. Um, of course, if that's what you have, that's what you have and that um, will also be successful on Pinterest. But if you have any um, pictures of your product in action, that is ideal. Um, and then text overlay, this can be um, a great way to give your, uh, give pinners a better um, idea of what you're posting and what it's for um, before they click on it. And Pinterest recommends using words like new. Um, they've shown the word new has um, increased awareness nine times for um, posts that have the word new in them. Um, also like action words, like check this out. Um, those can really like sense, uh, bring a sense of action to your user or to a pinner. Um, and then your title, this is where you want your brand name and keywords. Pinterest recommends putting your brand name first. It's one of the first things they'll see when you, when they click on your photo. And then keywords. Um, we'll get more into keywords and keyword research um, in the next slide, but then we have the caption, again, your brand name, keywords, and a call to action. You want to make sure that your um, the viewers know what to do next, and that is get on your website, make a purchase, um, just learn more overall. Next slide, Kate. All right, and then we have keyword research. So again, Pinterest is a search engine, and that's what's great about Pinterest is that you don't have to have a large following to gain um, uh, views and be discovered on there. So we do wanna put some time into our keyword research. It, uh, let me see. Um, yeah, so Pinterest has this guided search and it's one of the easiest ways for you to find keywords. There's different ways um, online, but this is by far the most efficient way. So first you'll search your topic, moment, or product. Here, um, I have an example of Valentine's Day. You can do Mother's Day, baby shower, birthday, um, just kind of the overall subject. And then here, the bolded on the right, the bolded words, those are your keywords. So when you are creating your post, you'll wanna include some of these keywords into your title and your caption. Sometimes you can even put them in the text overlay as well. Um, and then to the left, that's when you click search and you're looking at the products that come up and you'll see these um, guided search bubbles. And those are also great keywords. And these are keywords that aren't only trending, but they're also relevant. So we don't want just trending, we wanna make sure we're targeting the correct audience. All right, Kate, next slide. So there's a lot of aspects to the pin, um, but here's a pinning checklist so that you're able to make sure you got all your boxes checked pretty much um, when you go to pin. So first we have the image um, with your product in use ideally and your logo displayed. Just remember visually based, we want our uh, photo to be engaging and eye-catching. Um, that is like the foundation of Pinterest overall. So don't neglect the quality um, and time that you spend um, on your images. Um, next is text overlay, clear and concise. Um, use action words if you can. Um, these icons here are what you'll look for when you go to create your pin. Um, I kind of found that I didn't know what buttons to click at first. And um, so instead of have you guys having to search for it, um, there's those icons to look for. Then we have product tagging. This is a great tool that Pinterest um, gives small businesses and e-commerce sites 
um, this just tells them where to go and makes it as easy as possible, um, just reducing friction and making it easy. Um, and then we have our title. You'll wanna include your shop name first and then a brief product description. And that's where you really wanna get down to like that simple phrase with those strong keywords. Um, and just, I encourage you to put your um, self in the shoes of the users and the pinners and think what would I search if I was looking for this product. Um, then we have our caption. Um, use this to plug more keywords. Um, you can also use hashtags. Pinterest recommends around five to eight, I believe. Um, and this should also have your brand name and call to action. Make sure your followers know what to do next. Um, one other thing that Pinterest does is they take keywords from your photo files. So on the, a few slides back with the photo of the woman with the earrings, whatever I named that photo um, and uploaded it as, those will come up. So if I had the silver lining tortoiseshell jewelry in the file name, those would also come up in Pinterest's search. But yeah, you can go to the next slide. And here are just some um, key takeaways for you to remember. Focus on quality, eye-catching content with your product in action. Um, you want something that people are gonna click on. Um, center posts around buying moments for increased visibility. Um, just think of what's coming up next and plan ahead with those. Um, pins should include your logo, keywords, product tags, and a call to action. Um, and then take advantage of Pinterest guided search for those keywords and trending searches. A couple, um, other Pinterest resources that are out there is, I think it's trends.pinterest.com, which shows what's been trending on Pinterest. Um, those are great for keywords. And there's also um, Pinterest uh, trend forecaster. Um, they're shown to be about eight to 10% or eight, they're accurate eight to 10 of the times, which is great. And if you wanna kind of get ahead and um, see what's gonna be trending before everyone else gets there, that's also a great tool to use. Um, no one more slide, yeah. And here are some uh, other resources and I'll talk a little bit about our TikTok challenge. Um, we have the Main Street online tool, which Beyond Main worked with um, Main Street America to create. Um, it's just some more online research, um, online marketing um, resources um, for you to use. You just take a small quiz and they give you different resources to help grow your small business online. Um, we also recently did a marketing toolkit. This kind of is a great foundation for social media. Um, just again, checking off all those boxes and make sure you're, you're not forgetting anything. Um, and then I'll probably let Kate tip, talk a little bit more about our TikTok challenge, um, but feel free to ask her any questions. And here's my email if y'all wanna ask me any questions either. Um, and thank you guys for listening. I appreciate it. To you, Kate. Job, all right. All right. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks everybody for joining us. Um, so we do have our TikTok challenge going on right now, which was uh, really launched to kind of celebrate National Small Business Week, um, you know, this early part of May. And we're just going to keep the fun going as long as you want to keep sending us videos. Um, so we are beginning to kind of share those through our reels on Instagram, as well as uh, on our TikTok channel. And we're looking to help, you know, get some great uh, visibility for your business uh, out there and through, you know, through our shared platform, but also help amplify kind of the videos that you've already created or that you'll, you would like to create. And would like our assistance in um, sharing. Um, just to kind of back it up a little bit, the marketing toolkit uh, is a wonderful resource that Ariana spent a lot of time on and helping us create. There are some wonderful, wonderful tools in there for you as a Beyond Man seller, um, as well as just like a small business who might be interested in kind of um, having you know some support in the content creation um, section. So you can utilize this tool this toolkit, it's uh, available through pretty much any of our um, previous emails that you might have received. If you do not have access to it, 
you can email um, Ariana or you can also email me at kate at beyondmain.com and we will send you the direct link. Um, it is pre-created templates of everything from social media posts, email banners, um, uh, badges that you can you can put on your website and link to your Beyond Main shop or even have printed to display in your store. There's so much great uh, existing kind of creative content that you can even personalize. So you can take these templates and easily and put your logo on them, um, put your products on there to feature and share. So it's it's kind of a, a setup turnkey kit for you um, that you can keep coming back to and it's constantly being updated and added uh, to help like, you know, satisfy the moments or the seasons um, that you might need to market your products and services on Beyond Main. And then the, the uh, Main Street Online tool, it is a kind of self-assessment, a business assessment tool. So you can take this online assessment. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete, and it will recommend to you a number of software tools that might help you further your either start, grow, or boost your online business. Everything from um, accounting software to e-commerce software, point of sale systems, event ticketing systems, content creation platforms, um, marketing channels. There's a whole host of areas that we look at and identify that could be best for your business to, to consider. Um, it is available in English and in Spanish, um, and it is free. So please feel free to utilize that as a resource as well. So, um, and just to kind of recap it, please send us your uh, TikTok submissions or video reel submissions, and we will get to work to sharing those this month. Um, please utilize the marketing toolkit as well. It was created for you. And if there's things that you'd like to see added, we love your suggestions and appreciate them very much. So please don't be shy um, and be sure to tag us um, when posting or using it. And we will, of course, share forward. And thank you, Ariana, for this wonderful summary of how do you, you know, most effectively use Pinterest and some of the tips and tricks you found in kind of um, getting some boards and pins set up for Beyond Maine. Uh, we appreciate all your insight and your work on, um, you know, helping with our, our marketing initiatives at Beyond Maine. Um, so yeah, thank you, Kate, for letting me talk today. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. So I know we're not live today. This is a pre-recorded session, um, but I will be taking questions uh, during our normal call time, um, which is the second Tuesday of each month at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we will be discussing this live, um, you know, during our normal gathering time. So please feel free to come to the live session with your questions. Um, but we hope this has given you some interesting information to consider as you're looking at building out your Pinterest um, business, you know, connections and postings there on that, on that platform. So thanks very much. And we look forward to seeing you all, uh, at the next Main Street Collective. Bye. Thank you.